Hi everybody, Mr. Cannon back here with your next Senior Project slideshow. This one we're talking about a new addition to Senior Project, the Project Commitment. So what is the Project Commitment? Well, it is a form. It's not actually a Google form. It's just a, a sheet, a, a paper um, that does two things. It demonstrates that your Senior Project is valid and approved and it affirms your commitment to the project for the rest of your senior project journey. So unlike the proposal, which was a bunch of ideas sort of put together, the project commitment says, this is what I am going to do. So what does that really mean, right? The project commitment shows that you have decided on a viable project that you have committed to. Here is what the form includes. It is a series of questions and answers that you need to fill out, a bunch of circling, some tables. There's a lot going on, but basically it includes these things. You have to list what your topic is. You have to tell us what your essential question and sub EQs are, um, which there's a screencast for that. You also have to go in and talk about how your essential question connects to your AOK. There is also um, a portion where you have to validate that your AOK -okay is a good one, is a viable one. And in some cases, your AOK -okay may actually need administrative approval. And we'll talk about that a little farther down the line. Just a little note down here on the bottom. If you want to learn more about how to write high quality essential question or to ensure high quality AOK, -okay, there are relevant sections about that with screencasts on the Senior Project website, so take a look. All right, so what is it that you actually have to do? Okay, uh, it is a form, it is a, a Google Doc that you can download from the Senior Project website and then fill it out. My recommendation is, quite honestly, to print it and fill it out manually with a pen, um, only because there's a bunch of yes or no questions and signatures that you're gonna need to get uh, approved and so for those reasons you should go ahead and just print out the form and fill it out once it's done um, like all your senior project stuff it has to be put in the correct folder on your Google Drive in this case it's your senior project quarter two folder all right the project commitment form includes the following three sections project explanation project validation and project approval. And I'll talk about each one of these individually. Here we go. Project explanation. For this, you will state your topic and explain it if necessary. List your essential question and sub EQs. Explain your AOK. -okay. Explain the connection between your essential question and your AOK. -okay. And explain how you will show progress working on your AOK -okay throughout the year. And this is kind of an important one because there's a few assignments uh, later on down the road, one in quarter three, and then a part of your presentation in quarter four in which you have to show progress working on your AOK. -okay. So that's a, a really big one, all right? Project verification is the second section of this particular form that you have to fill out. And it really it takes the form of a series of yes or no questions. And the idea is that... Um, all of them should be yeses, right? And so these are some of the questions that you'll find on it. Does your AOK -okay connect to your research? Does it reflect an eight-month journey? Does it involve doing something? Is it an original idea? Will you be able to show proof of progress on your AOK? -okay? And this is just a way for you to really make sure, and in this case, verify, that your project is going to stand the test of an eight-month journey. The last section is project approval. Now, many senior projects actually need administrative approval, and it's not because they're crazy ideas or anything like that. It's really just to make sure that all of our bases are being covered, right? We wanna make sure that you're safe, that people participating in your project are safe, um, and so forth. So any project that is potentially dangerous, if it's an event that takes place at the school, if it's something where the public is invited, um, if it deals with a questionable topic, or if it involves collecting money, these are all things that not only does the administration need to know about ahead of time, but they need to sign off on it and say, yep, we think that this is a great project and we're happy to see you go ahead and do it. So if your project 
has any of these aspects to it, right? If it's potentially dangerous, it deals with a questionable topic, whatever, you are going to need to get signed approval from the building principal. And so if you need to do that, just go to the main office, talk to the principal secretary, ask very nicely and politely if there is a time that you can set up a meeting with the principal to go over your senior project. They are well familiar with this pro process, so it won't be a surprise to them, but my recommendation is that if you need to do this, do it well before the end of quarter two, because you don't want to wait until the very last day to get this signed, because what if the principal is not available? That's going to be tough. So if you need to do this, get it done early, okay? And here is the kicker. Once this form is completed, signed, scanned, and uploaded, you are not permitted to change your project without the approval of the senior project committee. So if you do this project uh, commitment and you get it all verified, you get it all signed off on, and then you decide, eh, I don't really want to do that. Maybe it's too hard. And you want to change, you're going to have to get that approved by the senior project committee. So just putting that out there. Once you're done, go ahead and uh, Go ahead and, and upload it to your quarter two folder. By this point, you should know the drill. Make sure the sharing permissions are all set and so forth. If you have any questions, if you still have questions on this, as always, you can ask your senior project mentor, um, or you can go up to the senior project study hall help room, which is room 348 at the end of the hallway in the math hallway on the third floor. Ask for some help there. Or you can always ask me, Mr. Cannon, signing off on the project commitment screencast.